So I have an IBM ThinkPad T42 and a uh, problem with the CMOS battery. I have to replace it. You'll see in a moment here. Comes up. Message. It says check date and then it tells you you need to uh, change the battery here. So basically that's a process where you need to uh, order a battery, CMOS battery, and I'll take you through that step by step now. So I already ordered the battery. It's in this little package here. It's a little $5 battery. And uh, we'll get it installed. Okay, I've set up a little piece of paper here with some duct tape. Uh, and I've rolled around the edges and taped it to the paper and I'll put all the screws on there. Uh, this way they don't get lost. I'm going to put all the screws in the proper order. Okay. So what we'll need to do is uh, remove all these screws here on this laptop. Uh, you'll see all there's little labels here where they indicate that it's for the screen and the keyboard. All these uh, types of screws need to be uh, removed. So it's essentially this row up here, this row here, and then a the row down at the bottom here that we'll need to remove. Okay, so we'll get all those screws removed and put them over onto this uh, piece of paper, all in the correct order. So then when we put them back. Uh, it, it, they'll go in the proper place because all the screws apparently are different sizes and uh, if you get them mixed up it could be a mess uh, trying to put them all back in the right place. So now all the screws are removed. I put all the screws on there as you can see. So if you look carefully we've got uh, those four screws go in those four top holes and all this mess of screws here goes all along here. You can see in the right order there. So yeah, by doing that, you'll be sure not to mix them up, and by putting them on the tape there, um, be sure not to have them, you know, moving around on you. This way, when you go to put them back, you'll get them all in the right order, nice and easy. Okay, so let's uh, turn this guy around, and then we'll uh, we'll un open up the keyboard, and we'll see how to uh, how to uh, remove the keyboard. Okay, so just bear with me a second here. I was having some trouble uh, <clears throat> removing the uh, keyboard from the top side and accessing it. I guess this model is slightly different than some of the others that I've seen. But if you just kind of open it from here, I'll just show you here where the battery is. You see that yellow thing above there, that little round guy? That's the battery. I'm going to see if I can get that out with a pair of tweezers or something. Here's my new battery. I'll pull that out of here. I'll show you what the new one looks like. So we'll see if we can't. Uh, so there's our new battery. We're going to put that guy in there. That's our new battery. There's no real indicators on here, but uh, it's the right one, I'm sure. So let's see if we can't jimmy that thing in there with uh, just some pliers. Or um, we'll try it now. I'm not going to be in it. Okay, so there's the. the battery right there. The thing is I just gotta get a pair of pliers in there. And see if I can see if I can pull that guy out. Just pull that thing and get out. There we go. So it's come out and then that's the battery. So Yeah, it's just a lithium battery. Anyway, I think I got the right part number and it looks almost identical. So I'll try to get that guy in there. See if I can do it with my fingers or if I need to use the pliers here. See if I can get it in there. That's it. It's in. Okay. So now that it's in, I'll put all the uh, screws back and uh, we'll put her back together. One last thing I should just uh, bring to your attention, because it just happened to me, was you should be careful with the um, <clears throat> when you're lifting this tab up here and you're going to change the battery. You should be careful because there is um, hard to see here, but I'm going to try to show you in there. There is up at the top there, 
right where the battery is. There's the uh, um, a, a ribbon cable, and it's for the the keep touchpad. You can just see it there, just to the right uh, to, of of the uh, yellow battery. So that little thing here came off, and I had to push that back in. So you got to be careful when you're pulling this thing the way I showed you, uh, just so you don't pull off the keyboard. Uh, but otherwise, it's all working good, and I'm ready to put back all the screws. I'll get all those screws back in, and we should be back in business. Okay, so now that we've put the uh, <clears throat> battery in, we're going to just check to see if it uh, boots up okay. And you see it boots up directly now. It doesn't uh, tell me that it's, it needs a new CMOS battery. So the new battery is okay and it's starting up in Windows and we should be good now. So we'll put all those screws back in and uh, as soon as this Windows boots up I'll shut it down and then um, put the screws back in and we should be good to go. So now we're going to put all the rest of these screws back in.